I found they don't have the money to pay for any private school for me to go. Please, I'm pleading on you to go to board. How fast? Both teachers and then but parliamentarians. People should have mercy on that. It's an issue that took social media by storm. <laughs> you are sitting down there with your big head, then you are president. President for the way. These students of the Upper East region appeared in a viral video last year mocking President Kufando over his Sikam Pedede comments and insulting his mother in unprintable terms. Now, the Ghana Education Service has struck, dismissing them in a letter seen by 3 News. Letter said that the girls have been dismissed for misconduct by quote, making derogatory comments in a video that went viral, a conduct considered very undesirable and contrary to the acceptable standards of conduct generally required of any student in our education system in Ghana, unquote. So what exactly does this mean for the education of these AIDS girls? Yaopoku Mensa speaks for the Ministry of Education. They are dismissed in our records as students of the Ghana Education Service. So once they are dismissed from a school, the record is with Ghana Education Service. So therefore, it will reflect wherever you seek another opportunity that you are a business member of the Ghana Education Service. The parents of these girls are distraught and worried that the education of their kids is at risk. I am one of the students they've dismissed from China Senior High School. Since I came home yesterday, I've not been able to eat because I'm just frustrated. I don't even know what to do. I'm a final year student. I'm to the point, it's just a bit so few months for us to complete and they are doing this to us. All my parents, my brothers, and sisters, they are all confused. They don't even know what to do. And me to my family, they don't have the money to pay for any private school for me to go. Please, I'm pleading on you to go to board. How fast? Both teachers and then but parliamentarians. People should have mercy on that. If you look at our house, we've not been brought up in this manner. We've been well trained. But unfortunately, if a child goes to school, we have what you call peer influence. It could be rather unfortunate that she has been influenced in that manner. But all the same, we want to plead to the authorities to be patient and to try to at least help these young ones so that they will not get frustrated. This is unlikely to be the end of this story that for many touches on the rights to education of the girls and the heavy-handedness of reform in the Ghanaian educational system.